Hi viewers, welcome to the next YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create column in Tecla Structures 2023 version with this PDF example. I will provide this PDF example link in the description. Please download and practice along with this video. If you don't have this software, I will provide the link in the description how to download and install this software and how to open for the first time and login and open the software and initial setup. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla Structures with India Environment. Now, I am going to open our PDF example. You can see, in our PDF example, we have two columns with the different orientations here. In this, in this, our first example, we have ISMB 300 column, Indian Standard Metal Beam 300 column. This is the standard column size and height we have 4000 and bottom level 0 and in the top level you can see in top section section AA we have orientation like this now I'm going to create this column uh, next we're going to create this type of column ISMB 250 height 3000 and bottom level 0 and orientation we have 45 degrees from vertical direction like this in clockwise direction okay I'm going to create these two examples in Tecla structures 2023 version okay let's start before going to create column, now we're going to create views. So, first we need to select the column to make sure this option should be off. If you have activated this option, then you will get like this. This is not required, so turn off this option, then select this column, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Now, I'm going to create here elevation. elevation on space give elevation on grid and similarly we're going to type here at the bottom on xz plane elevation on give the space grid at the rate no need to enter here one and two like that it will automatically take from the grid names so just click on create then click on ok and ok now plan and elevation views are created to open view list, use the shortcut Control i You can see now we have views here. Elevation on grid 1, 2, 3, f A, B, C and plan views 0, 3000 and 5000. Now this is the default 3D view. Currently visible uh, 3D view. If you want to open any view, for example, we are going to open plan at 0 and click on this arrow to jump this view into right side window. So click on here. Now you can see in our background we have planet zero level in the title this is the plan view if you want to open 3d view then click on here window and you can see currently we have two active views view one and view two uh, view one is the 3d view and the second one is the plan at zero if you want to open 3d then click on here now click on here and select this planet zero okay now go to create column at here at this location at the intersection of grid a and one here so click on here steel and select this column and zoom it here you can see you will get symbol like this point or intersection that means exactly we're going to create a column exactly at the intersection of two grids so click on here to place the column if you get this uh, window like this you can see object or place outside view depth do you want to expand the view depth including new object so you need to click on here expand to see the object the right click on mouse to uh, now you can see now column has been created so now i'm going to exit the command so you can use the ex escape button on keyboard or right click on mouse click on interrupt to exit the command so click on here window and select 3d view you can see now we have column like this use the shortcut control and uh, scroll button press the scroll button to rotate like this you can see currently now this window rotating about this point you can see uh, pink color point that is exactly at the middle of this cube box you can see here now we need to place the rotation point at here to rotate about this point so use the shortcut control r and pick the point here now hold the control and the scroll button and rotate like this you can see now this uh, rotate about this required point at this location you can see like this now right click on mouse interrupt you can see now this is the transparent column 
to see solid use the shortcut control 4 you can see now this is the solid view if you want to create wireframe use the shortcut control 1 to get wireframe like this you can see this is wireframe view like this okay uh, now we're going to use a solid view that means render view you can use a shortcut control 4 like this okay now we're going to change this orientation click on window and select this plan view and zoom it you can see in our example pdf example we have horizontal orientation uh, now in this column we have vertical orientation we're going to rotate this column so double click on this column to open column property window like here you can see now profile we have ismb 400 now we're going to change the profile so you can see uh, in our example we have ismb 300 so we're going to change this profile here click on here profile catalog and select this ismb 300 then click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result here you can see now column size reduced to ismb 300 from ismb 400 so now coming to the orientation we need to rotate this column so you can directly type here to rotate 90 degrees otherwise you can change from these options also uh, front top back and below these are exactly rotate in 90 degrees for example if you select this top view it will rotate 90 degrees if you select the opposite direction of front is the back it will rotate 180 degrees instead of using you can directly enter here 90 degrees for example it will rotate anti-clockwise direction when you enter the type here the value in tecla structures it will rotate 90 degrees in anti-clockwise direction that means like this clock will clock will be rotate like this and this column rotate in anti-clockwise direction if you want to rotate in clockwise direction you can directly enter here negative value minus 90 okay we will see in the next example so currently we're going to type here 90 degrees and click on modify here to see like this now click on close it and click on window and select this 3d view like this okay now coming to the column height in our example you can see we have column height 4000 from zero level so i need to change that level also for example to see exactly in elevation view for example let's take in elevation along grid one so click on window and select you can select from here also view list and uh, for example take elevation on one and select this arrow to get into this visible view list now close it you can see in our top title elevation on grid one currently we are in elevation on grid one view okay you can see now currently we have uh, this column bottom of zero to bottom level and uh, top height we have 5000 we're going to change this top level so and bottom level double click on this column to open property window and uh, in our example we have uh, ground level zero bottom level so you need to enter here bottom level you can see negative minus 500 that means zero to bottom level have 500 in the depth so we need to make it zero and coming to the top level first of all we're going to modify and change the result here so modify it and you can see now we have zero level bottom column now coming to the top height uh, currently we have 5000 we're going to reduce to 4000 for example in our example we have 4000 so enter here 4000 then click on modify to see the result here and close it okay that's it now we have column currently we are in transparent view to get solid view use the shortcut control 4 and to see the in wide frame use a shortcut control one like this okay depends upon your requirement you can change these views like control four for solid view like this and go to 3d view you can see like this now go to the plan view you can see orientation just like in our example and we have height and everything like this to verify this column property just double click on this column and you can see in our example we have ismb 300 like this here if you want to change the color of this column you can change from here class we have different types of uh, classes here colors 
as per your requirement you can change but you need to uh, fix the standard colors for column and beam and uh, bracings like that so for example i'm going to change this to class 2 and click on modify you can see now this color like this then select this column once again to see the property here now click on here and select class 7 and then click on modify to see the zipper here click on space now you can see a property window is blank because uh, this column is deselected to so select the column once again to see the property of that selected column list here and close this window and click on here right click on most read review to see the read review you need to you should click on space then right click on mouse to read review like this okay now coming to the second example in our sec second example we have column ISMB 250 with the height 3000 and bottom level 0 and orientation we have 45 degrees uh, from vertical direction in clockwise direction okay now I'm going to uh, place this column so go to the tecla structures and go to the plan view window and select this planet 0 and we're going to place this column at here at this intersection 1b so select this column and click on here to place at intersection you can see now you will get the snap symbol here point slash intersection then you will get this symbol then you you can directly click on here to place exactly at the intersection point no need to worry about it okay like this okay you will get this column with the previous property you can see same orientation and same height and same column uh, profile and everything you will get the same you can change from here okay you can see in our example we have uh, ismb 250 so we're going to change this profile so double click on this column and uh, let's take ismb 250 so profile catalog click on this option apply okay and click on modify to see the result okay like this okay if you want to rotate in 90 degrees then you can directly type here 90 degrees and click on modify like this but in our example we have 45 degrees from vertical you can see in our example we have 45 degrees from vertical line so we need to rotate in clockwise direction 45 degrees so come here type here 45 if you directly enter here the value 45 degrees it will rotate anti-clockwise direction that means like this but we need to rotate in clockwise direction so we need to enter here negative value before the value enter minus value then click on modify to see like this now this angle should be 45 degrees and close it to verify this angle you can use click on here edit and select this measure and you can select here angle from here pick the first point and activate the snap symbol this one then select the second point here and pick the next point here to see the angle you can see now have 45 degrees here right click almost interrupt to exit the command you can see now we have 45 degrees from vertical line to this column click on space right click on most of view i'm going to explain it once again so click on measure and select this angle and pick the first point at intersection point then pick the second point on this vertical line and pick the next point at middle of this edge you can see this triangle indicates the middle of the flange edge so click on here to place the angle you can see 45 degrees right click mouse interrupt in our example also we have 45 degrees so we have placed exactly like in our example okay now click on window and select this 3d view now coming to column height in our example we have column height is 3000 millimeter so we need to enter here 3000 millimeter of the column so double click on this column and you can change the column height here 3000 and click on modify to see the result you can see like this now close this window right click on mouse click on space right click on mouse data view like this click on window and select this plan view you can erase this checking dimension just click on space right click on mouse redraw view 
you can see now this angle is gone now coming to go to the elevation on grid one so click on here and select this elevation on grid one now i'm going to measure this distance here you can see by default we are grid here 3000 that means this column height is 3000 if you want to measure this uh, distance so click on here measure and select this vertical distance and zoom it and pick the first point here and zoom it here and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension right click on mouse interrupt you can see now have 3000 column height okay these are the checking dimensions you can erase these dimensions so click on space that means in the background click on in background right click on mouse redraw view to erase this dimension like this click on space click on 3d you can see now have two columns like this for example if you want to rotate about this point then use the shortcut control r and click on here to place the rotation point you can see now this is rotating about this point like this okay by default uh, this rotation point at the middle of this box to get the rotation point at the middle of this box then click on space right click on mouse fit work area to enter model you need to use this option to get the default rotation point at the middle of the cube so click on here to create the rotation point exactly at the middle of this cube like this okay that's it about how to create these columns in tecla structures steel columns in tecla structures with this pdf example if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel and please subscribe my channel and to support my channel please join my channel also okay thank you